Um, and then that discards rule of sign, no, there's not a typo. That really wasn't possible for that one. Okay. Over here, we're talking about possible. Okay, so list all possible rational zeros of this function. So this is an example where we would use the rational zeros here. And rational, what rational means, what does rational mean? The little fractions. Fraction. Radical meant square root. Rational meant fraction. And in this case, fractions could be whole numbers, right? The number two is a fraction, am I right? Because it's technically two over one. What we mean by that is fractions, not i's. Rational means all fractions, but not i's. There's not a theorem to help us figure out what i's are the zeros. Okay, so list all the possible rational zeros. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to talk about our p's over q's. And I'm going to do this plus or minus because all of the rational zeros, you don't know if the zeros are going to be positive or negative yet. You don't know. So you're going to put that plus or minus because you're listing and you're stating the fact that they could be positive or negative. We don't know. And what this theorem says is if p over q is a zero, then p is a factor of the constant and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. So what is my constant in this polynomial? X. Constant. Let me ask you the other way. What's the leading coefficient? Three. Okay, so what's the constant? What's the constant? Three. Constant. Negative 24. Negative 24. Oh. The constant is the number that has no x's with it. Oh. Learn something new every day, right? So the constant is the negative 24. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to just show you how to set this up here. We're going to have a fraction. And on top are my p's, and on bottom are my q's. P's are the numbers that are factors of that constant. So you're looking at that last number. What divides evenly into this number? Six, Six four, four, three, four, three, four, three twelve, 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 two, eight, 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 eight,
to actually try the factor. Now, this one I just made up right now, so I don't think it passed in, so I have to make up the middle. All right, so example four. Factor. All the numbers that we have on the bottom, that's the answer? That is the answer to this question. And it's this question that lists all the possible rational zeros. <clears throat> the word so we could use that a lot of the time for word guessing. Yes. When you're guessing, that's what you're using. That's exactly what you're doing. So here's the next question. Factor completely. I'm going to do x to the fourth. Ah, uh, you know what? But that one was too hard. I didn't do that one this morning. So let me give you. No, I can't decide. How much time do you have? I'm going to do the hard one. Okay, x to the fourth plus 5x <laughs> cubed minus 27x squared plus 31x minus 10. Correct. Right. Factor completely. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to do synthetic division to factor. But in order to do synthetic division, we've got to figure out what numbers we want to guess. And in order to figure out what numbers we're going to guess, we're going to use this. So we're going to find all of our p's over q. So find your p's over q's first. Plus or minus because, again, you could try a positive or a negative number. So again, you're going to list out all of the possible root, or sorry, all of the possible factors of this number <coughs> divided by all of the possible factors of this number. This number is just a 1, right? So the, on the bottom, what divides evenly into 1? Just 1? One. One. Which is nice. For the, for the constant, what numbers divide evenly into 10? 1, one two, 2, 5, four. 10. So you can list that out as, in this case, there happen to not be any fractions. Which is nice, because fractions are hard. They are. I hear you. So those are the numbers I'm going to try. At least that's a lot less, right? Those are the numbers I'm going to try. So when we set up our synthetic division, let's go ahead and do that. What goes here? 1, 2, 5, 10. No? Oh, 1, 5, negative 27, 31, negative 10. Your coefficients of the polynomial that you are trying to factor. Then what do I put here? 1. What are those numbers that you want to guess? Pick a number. 5. I heard 2. Could I have picked negative 2? Positive or negative 2. We just pick, you just pick something from here. Two was the first one somebody yelled out, so I just picked it. Pick a number, any number from that list. All right, and then what do I do? Drop it. Then what? Two times one. Add. Multiply. Multiply. And then add. And add. And then multiply. You guys remember this, right? Mm -hmm. So what's negative 27 plus 14? 13. 13. Negative 13. Okay. What's two times negative 13? 26. And then you add, and what do I get? Five. Two times five is? Dude, man, something with this class this morning, we had to do a whole bunch. You guys just keep yelling out the first guess that works. It's not always the first one you try works. Okay. I'm going with what you guys say. You guys just are having this lucky guess, like guess is the first one that works. So if it didn't work, I would erase it, try again, right? Okay. All right, so, but it did work. So, what I'm going to do here to factor this completely is save yourself some space underneath this. I'm going to continue under here. What I'm going to do is over here on this side, start off my factory. Because we're not done. There's going to be more than one step. But I'm just going to get a good start to it over here. So when I started out, 2 worked. So that means x minus 2 is a factor, right? right? And then the quotient is what's left over. I started off as an x to the fourth, so this is going to become what? Cubed. So this will be a 1x cubed plus the 7x squared minus the 13x plus the 5. You guys see that? It's because we started out with the x to the fourth, so it's yes. 1x. Yes. Perfect. Well said. Absolutely. So that was my, I started factoring. Pretty good, right? Now i got to factor this guy, right? So now I need to do synthetic division with this guy. So instead of rewriting my synthetic division, I'm just going to, I already have it here. Those are the numbers. I'm just being lazy. Do you guys see what I'm doing there? Okay. 1, 7, negative 13, 5. Not the 0. Not the 0 because that was the remainder. Gone. You guys see that? 
I'm not saying you have to do it that way. You can rewrite the second division. Okay, this is just one step. And then what? Now I've got to guess the number. One in five. One in five, right? Because now they've got to be divisors of this, right? So which one do you want to guess? One. One. I'm going to guess negative one, just for fun. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Somewhere wrong. Oh, wow. I actually want. No, <laughs> right. Gonna right. stop. So I drop it down, right? And then what? Multiply. Multiply, and then I add, yeah. and then I multiply. What's negative thirteen minus six? Minus nine. Ah, ah! It didn't work. It's because my handwriting is so bad. I thought it was an eight. Oh. So I was like, it's in my six. To work on your handwriting. So you see how that one didn't work? So then I gotta erase it and try a different number. What number do you guys want to try? Five. Five. I'm gonna try a positive one. I'm gonna be different. <laughs> a rebel today. I tried negative one, it didn't work. I'm gonna try a positive one. So drop down the one and then you multiply. Right? And then you add and then you multiply. And then you add and then you multiply and then you add. Okay, that one did work. So. That was the one we did? I know, it is. That was the one you guys picked. You guys really do have a good luck. So, going back to your factoring. So if you keep your synthetic division on one side of the page and your factoring on the other side of the page, it's a good way to keep yourself organized. This x minus 2 is still there. I can't get rid of it. But now, since 1 works, what's the next factor? x minus 1. And then what's left over? x squared plus x squared. Where those numbers come from? <laughs> x squared, 8x, negative 5. How come it was x squared? Well, because it was x cubed, so we got to go down one. Mm -hmm. You guys okay with that so far? Again. So far, so good. So then you could continue to do synthetic division, right? You could. But now that I'm down to a quadratic, you can just factor normally, right? Once you're down to a quadratic, try to factor it normally. Give it a shot. So let's give it a shot. Anything that multiplies to negative 5 and adds to 8, does it work? Okay, well, I gave it my best go, right? <laughs> so then what? I could do some negative division. I could do some negative division. I'm not going to. Here's it. Because when it doesn't factor the way you know how, synthetic division wouldn't work either. So we have to now do the quadratic formula. Remember when it did factor yet? Yeah, like, oh. So now for this guy, I'm going to do the quadratic formula. A, B, C. Right? X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4A, C, all over 2A. So negative 8 plus or minus the square root. 8 squared is 64 plus 20. 84. Negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 84 over 2. You guys, you guys remembering the quadratic formula? Mm -hmm. yes. Are you trusting me? So I'm just doing it right? Yeah. Negative 8 plus or minus 84. How can I break up 84? <coughs> Isn't that the same thing as 4 times 22? This is 4 times 22, am I right? So what's the square root of 4? So this becomes 2 times the square root of 22, right? Oh, that's what I meant. Oh, whatever. Sorry. Oh, I need Sorry, sorry. You're right. It is 21. I, I swear I can divide just not at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, let's just say it again. The 84 can be written as 4 times 21, all right? 4 times 21, not 22. The square root of 4 is 2. When you divide by 2, you're really dividing everything by 2, right? So then each one could reduce. So this became negative 4 plus or minus square root of 21, am I right? You guys see that? Do you know the square root of 21? No, that's okay. So remember over here, just take a second and remember. Because 3 minus i was a 0, it was x minus 3 minus i was a factor, right? You guys remember that? 
when 3 minus i was a 0, x minus 3 minus i was a factor. So because those are my zeros, I now have the x minus 2 stays, the x minus 1 stays, but now I have x minus negative 4 plus root 21, x minus negative 4 minus root 21. Ridiculous. Is that the final answer? No, because it just it told me to factor open, right? Yeah, it just told me to factor. X minus two. X minus one. X plus four minus root twenty one. X plus four plus root twenty one. You do have to distribute that negative. Yes, you're my math level mark. You're wrong. Could you really tell is there any difference between those two? Yes. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing here, though, right? Yeah. So synthetic division on one side, factoring on the other side. Yourself organized questions up to there. Positive? 